Hi, everybody. David Lewis here with uh, AW Specialty Pipers. Listen, today we're going to be doing something kind of cool. We're taking these black wine bags and we're going to be decorating them using these colorful hot stamping foils, this rainbow color and white, white hot stamping foil. We're going to be printing our design using the VersaSheen Media. So VersaSheen is our print. And we're going to be printing this on this, just this little HP black toner printer. So this will be interesting. You'll be able to do, anybody can do this anywhere. All you need is just a little bit of a heat press, the materials that we've talked about here, and you can create your own custom Christmas decoration. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we have our, our design open. And so I've got the background design. This is what we're going to print. These are about three and a half inches wide, three, a little over three and a quarter inches wide so that they'll fit on this, uh, on this bag. And, uh, and I've got uh, uh, naughty and nice here. So what I want to do is start by um, adding my names. And which way do I want to go? All right, well, let's go, let's go naughty. And uh, we're using this uh, Merry Christmas Flake as our uh, font for this. And I'm going to make Kevin and Rita a couple of friends of ours. So let's select this and let's set the color of that text to be black. And then I can take and Move this right where I want it to be. Kevin and Rita, right there. They fall into the naughty category. And then uh, for our nice one, uh, let's pick some uh, <laughs> some relatives instead of friends. And we'll call this uh, Trevor and Gene. All right. Trevor and Jean. Oh, look at that. That's right where I wanted it to be. So Trevor and Jean, they'll be nice. Kevin and Rita, eh, not so nice. So here's our here's our design. Now, before we can actually print this, we need to mirror it. So the easiest way to do that is to go into image, rotation, flip, Kansas, horizontal. Just like that. That creates a mirror image. Now we are ready to print. So we go file and print. And we're printing this to the HP LaserJet Professional. Our print settings. We want to go in. We want to make sure that we have the type set to labels. You want to use labels for the VersaSheen Media uh, every time on every printer that you have that as an option um, we have it set for the best print quality none of the other settings have any effect on anything that we are doing here so labels so now we can just click OK and then we're ready to hit the print button And here is our Versa Sheen print as a mirror image. Exactly what we're looking for. Okay, let's get going. Here are the bags. This is the bag that we have. And these have these strings on the top. They have a little uh, thing inside where you can just straighten that out and press it out. But when you put it in, it'll catch and that's what holds the bags like that so here we've uh we've removed those strings we have them here ready to be used all right 
Now, the other thing about these bags you want to take into consideration is that you have this um, fold, and this gap in this fold will create a crease in your bag. So to, to, so to control that, I've got uh, some cardboard strips that I've cut out, and I'm just going to take a couple of these strips and run them down inside of this side of the bag like this. And I'm going to take one and put it on the back side as well just to sort of protect it. So now I've got those cardboard strips down inside of the bag that gives me a nice flat surface. In addition to this, we're using our pressing pad. This is the thicker of the two that we typically use uh, because of the nature of this bag. So we want to use the pressing pad to make sure that we get good, even pressure. I have my heat press set to 365 degrees for two minutes. I have my parchment sheet to cover things up with. And what I want to first do is just check and make sure that my pressure is going to be correct. So I'll just put my bag in. So there's this folded piece at the bottom. I'm just going to catch that. We're going to make sure everything stays up here. And I'm going to cover this with my pressing pad. And I'm just going to check my pressure, make sure it's not too much. It's a little too much. Yeah. So I want good, firm pressure. Maybe a little bit more. Perfect. All right. So always remember when working with these silicone pads, when you take them off, they're going to be hot. All right. I'll set that to the side for the moment. And we start by cutting out our first design. I'm going to do naughty first. So we got two of these to a sheet. Just cut down through here as well, just so I can get a kind of a sense of how I want these centered on the on my piece. All right, you want to make sure and you take them off. You know, get a kind of a sense of how you have them. best to get them straight. These lines can help too with uh, you know kind of centering things up. All right. And I think I'm gonna pull this down on the dis on this bag. All right. Out with my parchment, put my pressing pad down, two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, then we release. Remember, these pads are hot. It's always good to have one edge off, off to the side so you can Take it off and not get burned. And so now here's our pressed on piece. We want to let this cool off and then peel it. Okay, so 
once this has cooled down, we are ready to carefully peel it away. So we want to grab one corner and just peel it back like such. All right, beautiful. So we have a complete transfer and everything is present on our bag. Looks beautiful. Perfect, perfect transfer. Everything transferred. Okay. All right, so now we are ready to apply the hot stamping foil. So we put this back into our heat press and we have a couple of pieces of hot stamping foil here. So I cut this piece here to go over the name. So we'll just put this white right over the, the name right there. And I have a bit thicker piece here that I've cut for the Santa Claus, the postage stamp, if you will. So we'll put this over the postage stamp. And then everything else, we want to use this rainbow effect for. So let's see how I want this rainbow effect to work out. Yeah, just like that. I think it'll look nice. Yep. So I cover that. Always remember when you're working with hot stamping foil, the shiny foil, you know, shiny side goes up. Again, we want to use our, our silicone pad. Actually, to tell you the truth, um, when we're applying the foil, we really don't even need the silicone pad because it only takes a few seconds for the foil to, to bond. So we can just simply press it like so. About 15 seconds. should do the trick. All right. So now again, here's our piece with the foil pressed in. And we want to let this cool off as well. So this time, you know, when, we're, when we're peeling the VersaSheen, we can peel it while it's still warm. But when we're applying the hot stamping foils to these, we want to make sure that we let this cool down completely so that we get a good permanent bond with our hot stamping foils. So cool completely. So this has cooled off. So we are ready now to peel away. And oh, that's beautiful there. That rainbow color. And Rita in white. Santa Mayo in white. Is that gorgeous or what? All we need to do now is put our 
Take our cardboard strips out. Put our strings back in. bottle of wine inside. And there is our beautiful gift. Bottle of wine. Customize labels. 